simple ways to get traffic to a new website even if you don't know where to begin videos two of two now there's two of these videos i just mentioned that there's another one before this and you got to go back and watch that first one you don't have to necessarily watch these in order but i will put a link below in the description where you can click on it and go back to video number one now in these two videos i'm giving you 20 ways simple ways to get traffic to your website so you're going to want to watch to the very end i think number 19 19 i believe it is will really surprise you so let's jump right into this we understand that when we have a new website we need to get traffic to it and maybe you actually have a website you've already got some traffic and you want to increase it this video is for you or maybe you've got a traffic just going crazy on your website but you want to explode it even more uh, this video is also for you all these things will work no matter what stage you're at now in the first video i went through the first nine this one here i'm going to go through 10 through 20. so let's jump right in here and let's talk about number 10. number 10 is send free samples to instagram Instagram influencers you know it's so funny nowadays what an influencer is it used to be it was a celebrity it was a movie star it was some politician that was famous but individuals now can be better for our brand than anything else I mean I would rather have an influencer had an audience of 10,000 loyal people who loved survival food and were preppers right then um, a celebrity who had 2 million uh, and they didn't have an influence over a group like that that's what I'm looking for somebody who influences a particular group by sending them samples letting them try out what you have and getting them to do a review it can be very helpful to you and they don't have to be big influencers maybe they've got 10,000 followers or 5,000 the point is you're getting your product out there in front of more and more people and what is that actually worth to you what is that traffic worth to you number 11 reach out to bloggers and the press uh, now I have done the press before as a matter of fact uh, it's pretty interesting if you contact any newspaper or any news outlet online now um, they always need good information and I was successful in both cases you know I got articles written about our company uh, but I think a lot of people think that whatever they have is not that interesting but it can be depending on the outlet that you contact and you just got to contact a bunch of them and you'll be surprised a lot of them will write about you same thing about bloggers and understand they've got to come up with content all the time maybe it's every day you know it's hard for a blogger to come up with content every day if he doesn't have something to blog on or she has something to blog on same thing with a newspaper so if you just contact them you'll see that you will get some publicity you can also do this on the flip side number 12 is you could write your own blog post about influencers and what they think about your product so once you've got some of these people that are you know doing some reviews that are writing about your product you can write your own blog on your own site that talks about all these people and have links going back to these other sites this is another great way to link your site to other sites number 13 is write blogs or do videos that solve problems for people and in doing so you're going to end up getting traffic now this is a much longer term way of doing something however by doing this you will build your own audience and you can generate a whole lot more traffic helping people out has always been the number one way to build a brand if they see that you're helpful if they see that you're trying to help people they're going to be interested in what you got to sell number 14 produce podcasts to get more reach now podcasts you know a few years ago hardly anybody even cared about them and now most people say that they are frequent listeners to podcasts podcasts have exploded it used to be you couldn't really garner an audience that people were listening to regular radio or regular tv but all that's gone by the wayside now there are podcasts on just about every subject you can start your own podcast you can interview people you can talk about your own ideas and beliefs in a podcast and believe me you can build an audience doing that if you stick with it you do it on a regular basis number 15 i like this one i like this one a lot use video to educate or entertain i'm doing that right now i'm educating right now videos are awesome videos help you really get in touch with your audience to where you're going to have a stronger bond with that audience uh, i love videos because it's so interactive people can see your personality um, they can comment you can comment back um, videos are awesome if you haven't done videos um, and maybe you don't, maybe you don't want to be on camera you don't even have to be on camera you can use a presentation a powerpoint presentation if you want but you'll find that if you do get on camera it's not that bad um, there's no difference really you just feel like you're talking to one individual person like i am with you right now uh, and as long as you keep that attitude and you use your own personality don't try to copy anybody else don't try to be somebody you're not just be who you are videos are awesome number 16 is pretty obvious but a lot of people miss it and that's write titles that match your content okay so often people don't research titles they don't use any tools like google adwords 
they need to use a title and you need to have a title that is something that people are already searching for too often we try to write a title and get people to search for it that's a hard way to go about it the easiest thing to do is find out what they're searching for write that title and then write the content to match that particular title number 17 is write irresistible meta descriptions what's an irresistible one well let's check out one right now and take a look at it uh, this one here is uh, Shopify okay and it says how to start a clothing line tips from project runway okay so there's a lot of credibility there it says how do you start a clothing line from scratch former project runway hopeful sarah donna frio shares the ins and outs of launching a fashion and it got truncated but the point is they wrote something that is really compelling and interesting and in doing so they're going to get traffic to the site you need to do the same thing you need to have these meta descriptions on all your pages number 18 is add internal links to and from important pages now first off what's an internal link an internal link is something that's on your website that when they click it it takes them to another page within your website so i may be talking about um survival food and i may say you know the best thing to do is store canned meats and canned meats is a link and when you click on it it goes to our canned meats that we sell so having those links in there can really increase your traffic and it can increase the time on the site which is something that google looks at before they send you more traffic now of course while you're at that you want to work on your seo get your seo right your search engine optimization having the right words in there uh, you want to make sure you have a site map and that site map is submitted to google so that google can search your site all these things are super super important when you're setting up your site and you're wanting to build more and more traffic it is very time consuming and i know it's time consuming but if you just work on it a little bit each day spend 10 minutes or 30 minutes whatever you have each day that will build up and your traffic will eventually build up to where you have a lot of traffic number 19 kind of goes with number 18 but you want to add long tail keywords uh, in your site and the reason you want to do that is because it's it's really difficult let's say if i was trying to optimize our survival food food site for um, survival food you know that would be a very tough term to um, optimize for but I can optimize for survival food long-term storage canned meats so that's a long tail search uh, and we do have that optimized and we do come up pretty high in the rankings on that too a lot of times on the first page because it's a longer tail search and it's more targeted so let's look at this example on the screen now for Logitech cameras that you would put on your computer uh, you can see the related searches to Logitech C310, which would be a search for one of their cameras, but you can see Logitech C310 webcam software, Logitech C310 review, Logitech 310 HD webcam installation. So there's a lot of other ones on here that you could put on your site that would actually help get more and more traffic. And you can simply just type this into Google and it's going to give you these suggestions and you can just optimize for them. And like I said, in the beginning of the video, number 19, which I just went over is pretty cool. It's pretty surprising that you can do this. And what's interesting is that these people are searching for these longer terms but we never think to put them on our site and we could just capture all of that traffic which is much easier than trying to go after two or three words these longer searches are the most surprising thing i think i've seen in seo how you can actually get to page one get to page one imagine that by using these long-term searches now we're on to the last one which is number 20 but before i get there don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button down there if it's red it's warning you you need to turn it gray you need to turn it gray by clicking it and then you need to turn on all bell notifications ring the bell right get all notifications when i go live when i upload a video that way you'll know about it don't forget to give me a thumbs up now let's move on to number 20 and let's close this up number 20 stand out with rich snippets rich snippets tell people more about a product uh, the reviews the prices more details on it by putting these on your website you can get more traffic rich snippets are search listings that include information about the product's price availability the review count um, they're really useful for learning more about a particular product or a site at a glance from a search results page um, actually uh, a study by the search engine land on rich snippets found that they can increase the number of people that click to your page by up to 30 percent now that's a huge boost for something that can usually be implemented 
relatively painlessly once you get used to making these customizations to your site compare that to increasing your marketing or ad spending budget by 30 percent and you'll see why it's so popular so we've been through 20 of these ways that you can get traffic to your site there's no excuse for not having traffic to your site you can blow everybody away by doing these things don't just do one or two of them do as many as you possibly can i've given you 20 and if you didn't get the first nine that would be in video one if you look down in the description you'll see a link going back to video one and video one i go through the first nine and this one i went through 11 more check them all out go back watch that first video don't forget like i said to subscribe ring the bell turn on all bell notifications and give me a thumbs up i've also included a free course below it's in the description all you have to do is click and learn 100 free i hope you enjoyed this video i thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right here so you can be notified every time i do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel